broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets rang loud, the bombs bursting in. The following broadcast is an official production of the Faulkner Sports Network. And it looks like Emmy Winston is trying to make some noise here. But... All right, Reinhardt back on point, gets his ult, knocks him down. Here we go. He's here by the Shadow of Four. What a triple kill. And they keep it going. Oh, well, well. All left is our healer and our tank. Yep. Which, to their credit, doing a pretty good job of holding off this onslaught. Woohoo! Oh, got the ball. Nice. All right. He's oh, on to the overtime. payload for overtime. Here we go, folks. Can he maintain for a tank to get through? And he is able to. He's gonna have to. Here we go, overtime. Oh. They gotta push through. Oh. Gotta get rid of the defenders oh. quick oh. enough. Raptor Claw really going nuts here with the triple kill. Not bad. Get some, Diva. Oh, and Shadow with the kill. All right. Here we go. Come on, guys. Can I get that? That tracer is giving him so much trouble. The tracer's tricky. That teleport ability lets her stay on point for a while. Overtime is gone. Good job, guys. Hello and thank you for tuning in to Faulkner Esports. Welcome to our high res arena sponsored by Regitar. Um, today we're going to be playing some Overwatch against the against the South Dakota Mines. My, uh, they, they call themselves the Hard Rockers. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you our players. And to the left we have Jesse Clark known as Shadow 04. To the right, we have our captain, Viva Kalguya, known as Trey Parker. Sorry, I'm having some technical difficulties here. How? Give me one second. So, sh come show me. Sorry, having some technical difficulties. All right. Oh no! Well, the game is starting. I'm gonna show you our players a l little bit faster. Just give me one second. And to our left, we have Oracle known as Wayne McKay. In the middle, we have Zane Thrasher, known as Mr. Gunk, and oh, known as Spong in this game. And to the right, we have Ian, known as IND. So let me tune right back into the game and uh, get you all started.
All right, so it looks like we're looking at our... Oh, sorry, looking at the wrong team here. There we are. That's better. This is IND. Looks like we're going to be following him this match then. As one as our healer, have Oracle over there playing as Reinhardt. As our tank and looks like we're actually getting some um getting a good bit of percentage on our point here oh and unfortunately our Reinhardt goes down our tank so we're gonna have to think of something else to be able to do um, until we can be able to take point again and oh we actually can test point here hopefully we can be able to take out their Reinhardt and be able to get back into the game for y'all Taking a different perspective here. Watching Oracle here. Looking at Trey, known as Beva, playing as our Reaper. Getting so close to. T oh, and he takes him down. Oh, unfortunate. Taking a different perspective here. Oh, man. We have two players out right now. Make that only one. We have one that just spawned in. We're going to have to fight pretty hard to get this point here. Most of this point here has been taken... by the South Dakota Mines. We're gonna have to find something to do to get us back into the game. Oh man, unfortunate. Overtime probably gonna run out before we can be able to get this done. Mm. Unfortunately, that's the uh, going to be the first round. They do have another chance to be able to win this. So hopefully they can be able to come around and be able to win again. Get, getting us prepared. Let me bring you into the battle. Five, four, three, two, All of our players ready. Coming out, Oracle, Viva, IND, Shadow 04, Spong. That's a good push, it looks like here. Both teams using Reinhardt, which makes good sense to be able to do that. Just because of how, how uh, accessible he is, especially with his attacks. Unfortunately, this is looking like a Star Wars situation here where uh, the other team has the high ground and that, 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 that I noticed that as our weakness most times. So we're going to have to think of something different. Unfortunately, Faulkner getting uh, mostly taken out, waiting for the team to get together again. We got Spong and Oracle hanging out with each other. Viva behind them, and our healer, both our healers, all the way in the back. Probably not, might need one of them up here soon to be able to help us uh, keep our tank healed up and our attackers. Oh, okay. Hmm. Unfortunate having both our players taken out and the mines still having the point here. Really unfortunate. Hopefully, uh, our team has thought of a different strategy as Oracle. Oh, I never know this player's name. 
tells you how much I know about uh, Overwatch, but I know Viva as May here making that change. Mostly we'll everybody's staying the same. Maybe this little change here will uh, make a little uh, bigger difference in the game. Oh, th our May here actually putting up an ice wall to uh, take down their tank down to where we are, but it doesn't seem like that worked out in our favor taking out the Faulkner team. We got Oracle, Shadow, IND, Spong, and Viva here coming through. Hopefully they have a different strategy to get them off the top. We just... Heights for us, if they're ever above us, seem to be our weak point. So it seems like they can, they can be able to target us a lot easier, and that's what it looks like happening here. Because, to be honest... Um, Oracle probably needs to, oh, I say he needs to be healed, but he's already taken out. And uh, we're in overtime right now. Have oh, had one player contesting. Unfortunate. So, uh, looks like the mines here actually take um, this first win. Now, this is best of, I think it's best of three. So... Fodder does have uh, two more chances to be able to get back into this game. But they do have to get three wins. A different perspective, but a uh, pretty good one. I feel like they had a lot of, uh, uh, at the first game, they had a lot of good things going for them. But uh, a lot seemed to not be going their way whenever they uh, the other team had the high ground. Usually whenever uh, they have the high on Faulkner, that just seems to be where we need to uh, cut their legs short and be able to take the win. But in this situation, uh, that just wasn't it for us. Hopefully, um, we have another map coming up for you all that uh, Faulkner likes a lot better. I don't know how much they like that that first map we played on, but hopefully they like the second one. So, looks like they're just continuing to set up here. I know it takes a little bit to be able to get everything ready. And looks like we're entering the game, so let me go ahead and give you the footage. Alright, so everybody is assembling their heroes. Interesting. Viva and Oracle picking different characters. And looks like we're watching the mines. Um... This is point, then payload. Hopefully Faulkner can be able to get the point, then the payload. But we're going to have to get past that barrier. Oh, gets hit in the face with a rock. Oh no, heights. Let's be able to get that out of the way. And our weakness. Unfortunate. I'm pretty sure everyone I know, uh, everyone at home knows me as the guy that says unfortunate a lot. So, uh. Well, if something changes, you probably won't hear me say that a lot. <laughs> mm. 
Mm. Viva and IND keeping up the push here. Just waiting on their tank to be able to get up and close. But uh, it's so weird picking this tank because uh, it's better up close for this one. Oh, they're just trying to find, teleport their way to the point, which uh, they really need to get to. But uh, it seems like they have Oracle countered here, just cornered. Mm. Hopefully Faulkner comes back from this. Uh, I don't think point is our strongest suit in this game. I th I'm more and off thinking that pushing the payload is uh, our strongest suit, but we have to be able to get over our weakness of point to be able to get to the payload. It's kind of like eating your vegetables before eating like the main course that you like mostly. Unless, uh, unless you're one of those people out there who uh, likes to eat your vegetables last. I mean. Water needs to make a bigger push here with this two players out one player in spawn make that two players out another one in spawn hopefully we can be able to assemble everybody in a proper fashion to be able to get the point so not everybody wants to tank it out take a take a player with them along the way but in this kind of situation it doesn't look like that's going to happen Looking at our tank here in non-tank form, hopefully. Oh man, unfortunate. Can uh, can't get the ult to get uh. Ooh man, looking kind of rough here. For Faulkner, they're gonna have to think of one type of push to be able to get in. Gets hit in the face with a rock again. Slightly disrespectful, but it's a uh, it's a proper move in the game, so we'll let it pass. Anybody get on the point? All right, our tank is on the point, but getting contested by the enemy team, not even get. So you see up there, um, you have like three ring, three parts of the ring out there for the point. Even we have to at least fill up one, but uh, unfortunately we don't even fill up one in this situation. So we're gonna have to do like a hard stop on them to do the same thing they did to us. Well, you don't like to see that, especially if you're rooting for Faulkner. But uh, if you're rooting for the mines and uh. You uh you're enjoying this at this moment, and if you're one of those people who are just like not for either team, then this is out the way. This entertaining. Um, so we do have our players assembling their hopefully new heroes that can then be able to get a uh, better defense like uh like the mines have been able to do, and hopefully never get them the point like they've never given us the point, just giving them the same playback. All right, so we're gonna give you. The gameplay, just give me one second. Alright. Faulkner here, having to get ready to defend. Having to get ready for whoever they pick. Going to push. Interesting. Viva picking May here his comfort character. Everybody mostly playing the same, but Spawn playing as Junkrat, which I notice he really likes playing on defense, which is actually a really good pick for his ult to be able to take out a team, and that would be really good if they're on point. So the Mines pushing in, thinking of a strategy to be able to take out Faulkner while they're up on, up on the heights. A little different than how the Mines play. The Mines had most of their players up on this ledge instead of separated out a little bit 
I'm wondering if that's what uh, what's different about us and them. But uh, Faulkner being able to take out two of their players, PSX Burbit. I wonder if that's a reference, the PSX reference to the PS1. Viper there. Now Reinhardt uh, really giving us a nice shield out front, really taking the attention um, from our other players, trying to be able to take out take out the mines here. And I see why Faulkner's doing this, so, so nobody uh, sneaks across and tries to be able to get to the point um, without them knowing. But uh, Faulkner's slowly here getting pushed down. And, uh, ooh, it's only one player spawn, and if he, can, if he can even make it to be able to not give them the first ring and hopefully contest the point. But... That's going to be it for Faulkner for this um, this win. So the Mines taking their second win here. And uh, Ash getting the play of the game. Uh, really targeting our players on, on our back side. I think that's what made us crumble. And taking out our tank last. So, the Mines here with their second win. Unfortunately, Faulkner 0. So, 2 0 right now. Um, well, 0 2. Faulkner 0. Mines 2. And uh, I think for our last one, we're just going to do push for um, pushing the payload. And I've noticed this to be Faulkner's strong suit whenever they play. So, hopefully, they can be able to get. A uh, pretty good push here, and I hope they be able to bring it all the way because uh, I know this is what they're strong at, and uh, we're gonna also see if uh, the mines are strong at this as well. And we're it looks like we're gonna be going to Junker Town. I think that's where we're going. That's what it says right here. So, uh, unfortunately, um, for that last game, um, we tr actually tried to take the high ground in that situation, which actually worked for a good like minute and a half until it all crumbled down and started aiming at our players near the back. I think that's what, what our weaknesses was. And um, a lot of this type of situation just comes from um, actually being able to take the high ground which uh, which means a lot in Overwatch because there's a lot of places where you take high ground on people and I've noticed it as a pretty good strat because you can be able to look down on people and for just for some reason it makes it so much more easier than looking up at somebody and taking your shot at them so looks like we have the game starting here and it actually is going to be payload push I'm wondering who's getting the payload push here. We're gonna about to see in a moment as I follow around on the map. I'm thinking maybe it's Faulkner that gets the payload push. Yeah, it is gonna be Faulkner that gets the payload push here so they can be able to show their strong suit. So a different perspective. Looks like uh, the mines are setting up. Detecting who's up front. Good strategy. But uh, we have a Reinhardt, which has an amazing shield. Starting out this push. Making past the 10 meter mark. Hopefully you'll, you'll be qualified. <laughs> For me to think you have to be qualified to be an esports team, you got to at least make it past the 10, uh, 10 meter marker. And... Uh, Looks like both teams are a little distracted here with other different players. And one of our players going down IND playing a soldier 67, I believe. 76. And Viva getting taken out. Unfortunate. Hopefully we can be able to think of a new strategy to be able to push this payload. 
only 24 meters. But we do have three minutes to go, which is uh, positive for us. So we can be able, be able to have enough time to actually think about something that would actually work as a good strategy to get us to the next checkpoint. And it looks like they have a Mercy on their... Let's see, I really don't know these characters. I need to know them better for everyone at home. Um, the guy who likes throwing boulders. The Reinhardt Oracle here. Really trying to get the push initiated and going. See him working really hard. And also using g a great job using the, um, the push as cover as well. Which is a good strategy. <laughs> Both tanks kind of 1v1ing each other but um their tank getting uh getting a boost by mercy and our tank getting taken out unfortunate we did get it moved a little bit to 30 meters but uh we're gonna have to do something a little bit more different here because we're gonna have to get it pushed to the next checkpoint Oh man, throwing boulders again. Kind of, uh, kind of fits the, kind of fits the name for the miners, but uh, or the mines, my bad. Ooh. And getting the team taken out here, uh, it's it's getting pretty hard for Faulkner right now. Man. Let's get something different going on here. Because it looks like the mines here are actually uh, getting a pretty good push. And getting their alts off right on the places that they want. Which uh, seems really, really good. Alright, we're getting the push initiated again. Because it got pushed back. And uh, we're, we just need it pushed back to even, pa yep, even past the point. Gonna get to 39.95 meters with 30 seconds to go. We don't need to crumble right now. We need to be able to get this to the checkpoint. Oh boy. Oh, taking out one of their players. Okay. Let's go. Let's get them spread out here so we can be able to take out more. Let's get this payload pushed to that checkpoint. That's all we really need right now. Ooh. Need to use the payload more as cover. Getting contested here because it's overtime. Oh no! Man, not being able to make it to the checkpoint—that's pretty hard. But uh, we did get it pushed to 77 uh, meters here, which was better than at least 30. I'll give it that. And going straight into it, having the uh, other players can assemble and choose their characters, which is uh, hopefully Faulkner thinks of something um, defensive towards the payload in this situation so they can be able to oh man just look at that payload there look at that don't let it fool you there's a bomb right under it so what the um what the mines have to do here is be able to get the payload to this point right here uh the same exact point that we had and we're gonna have to play defensively just like they did and give up nothing here so they can't be able to get past that point. And to some people that might look like a lot, but in reality, if you get a really good push in at 77 meters, is it's all right. But uh, we're going to have to play some strong defense. All right, the match is getting ready. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's go. All right, still using Reinhardt here. 
Looks like they have a little bit of a character change for the mines as well. Also having a junk rat. They're already at 20 meters, which is a little bit scary. So we need to find some way to contest it and maybe even push it back. Whatever strategy Faulkner has, uh, I know that they probably uh, have something planned out here. Big fight going on and going to sleep. <laughs> Ooh, getting a little testy here. 45 meters for the mines already. We've got to find some way to make sure they don't get there because they're slowly but surely getting there. Oh, no. This looks like it might be about it. Oh, we're contesting. We're contesting. Oh, man. Faulkner giving their final stand to unfortunately not be able to uh, get them to be stopped. Mm, unfortunate here. Well, and their Widowmaker getting the play of the game. Same guy from last time. Man. Hmm. Well, you hate to see it. Um, Faulkner, 3-0. Um, in that kind of situation, you just you do the best you can. And, uh, I, I mean, they gave it their final push. They uh, gave it all they got to the very end. And, uh, I mean, as long as they gave it their all, they can't be disappointed of what they brought out there. Um especially with uh especially with the heights and uh notice that ended up being difficulty for them. Well, for anyone at home, um this is Fa Faulkner uh in the Registar Arena for Overwatch. Just tuning in. If you're tuning in you're well you're a little too late because it's uh it's O and three and uh Faulkner unfortunately taking a loss here. Um, well, that looks like it's going to be it for today. Um, I, I've, I've seen these guys practice a bunch. They put a lot of their heart into this and, uh, a lot of their practice in here. And in the end, even though they lost, I, even though I don't really play it, I, I, I can see their dedication for it. And even if they feel disappointed, they shouldn't. All right. Well, thank you for all for tuning in. You'll have a wonderful night and uh tune in next time cuz we're going to have a I think we have a let's see here. I have a big list of games coming up on Thursday. We have a Smash Brothers game against uh Southeast Missouri and we do have the Rocket League Blue game that got rescheduled from rescheduled from yesterday on to Friday at 6 p.m. Um, we're going against Benedictine. Um, I hope that, hopefully that's the way you say it. Um, yeah, final scores, um, 0-3, Faulkner taking a loss, but it happens. Um, <laughs> me going by myself in, uh, in this situation, commentating for y'all, and also, uh, doing production. Um, we do what we can to be able to get everything going so we can be able to get um, y'all to be able to see the game. Um, so that looks like it's going to be it for today. And uh, thank you for everybody watching in and have a wonderful night. God bless. The preceding broadcast was an official presentation of Faulkner University. It may not be redistributed without the express written consent of the Faulkner University Athletic Department. Regitar USA High Res Arena is sponsored by Regitar USA. The national anthem was performed by the Faulkner University Chorus. If you would like to learn more about the Faulkner Esports program, visit our official website at FaulknerEagles.com or follow us on Discord, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram for all the latest news and events. Thank you for watching and soar Eagles.